my name is Dilip Singh and I'm going to conduct your chemistry lecture. Today we are going to start with a very important topic named solution and colligative properties. It is extremely important chapter with respect to your board examination as well as with respect to your J and NEET. So whether you're a medical aspirant, whether you are an engineering aspirant or you're appearing for your board examination, this chapter is equally important in all these, all these three sections. The name of your chapter, Solution and Colligative Property, the name itself the breaks this particular chapter into different parts. Solution being the first part and the colligative properties being the second part. This particular chapter, when it comes to a board examination, Maharashtra board examinations, carries four compulsory marks. So when you're sitting for your board examinations, do expect four marks, compulsory question from this particular chapter. With option, it goes to six marks. So you can imagine how important this chapter for you people is. So out of 70 marks, four marks for your chemistry paper is from this particular chapter. So without any further ado, let us begin with this particular topic you know, named as solution and qualitative properties. On your screen now, you can see the presentation with respect to this particular topic. So when I talk about solution and qualitative properties, ladies and gentlemen, the name solution, what do you understand by that? It is nothing but a homogeneous mixture. Now, when I say homogeneous, the first thing that should strike your mind, what is homogeneous? Very simple. Homogeneous means same phase. So when I say homogeneous, I mean to say I'm talking about something which exists in same phase. Same phase like salt in water or sugar in water or lemon juice. So the second question that should come to your mind is if there is something known as homogeneous, there has to be something opposite of it. Yes, exactly. As there is homogeneous mixture, we also have heterogeneous mixture. Now the name itself suggests you heterogeneous. It means that it will be in different phase. A heterogeneous mixture is that mixture where there is a separation, where there is a boundary between the solute and solvent. Now what is solute and solvent? We'll come to that at the later part. But heterogeneous mixture is something which exists in different phases. Homogeneous mixture is something which exists in same phase. A very important terminology. So keep in mind, whenever you come across the term homogeneous mixture, it has to be same phase. Whenever you come across heterogeneous mixture, it has to be different phase. Now, a mixture is made up of two main components. It consists of something known as solvent and the other being as solute. So whenever you have a mixture, whether it is heterogeneous or homogeneous mixture, it always consists of two main components. One has to be a solvent. Now, what is solvent? Something which is present in greater quantity. Anything which is present in larger amount has to be solvent. Anything which is present in smaller quantity has to be a solute. So let us take an example. Salt in water. When you dissolve salt in a glass of water, but obvious water is in large amount and that water becomes nothing but as your solvent. What is in lesser amount? Salt. So salt becomes solute. Take another example. Lemon juice. We all make lemon juice. It's hot season right now. Lemon juice is high demand. How do you make lemon juice? How do you make lemon juice? Only? So you take a glass of water. In that glass of water, you add salt. You add sugar, you add lemon juice. Now, with respect to water, don't you think the salt, the sugar, the lemon juice, they all are present in very small amount? Exactly. And hence, they will be termed as solute. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, who, what concentration is present in high amount? Isn't it water? So, what should we call water as? We should call water as solvent of so we know what is solute we know what is solvent solute is something which has to be present in smaller amount solvent is something which has to be present in larger amount when solute and solvent come together that is known as solution so can i say kids that solution or 
something related to solution is nothing but solute that is which is present in smaller amount and solvent so solute plus solvent will give me solution i hope so this particular concept is clear to one another. so what is solution solute and solvent coming together but do remember guys it is not necessary that there has to be only one solute no we have to take example of lemon juice solute can be more than one component but solvent yes solvent is only one so you can have multiple solute present in the same solvent so this is what solution is all about thank you so much